The old double pop. <laughs> <laughs> We're working on the front axle. As you guys can see, started adding some trussing to it. I'm gonna add a couple more pieces and then test fit it into the frame. But that's how I'm doing it so far. All right, I'm finished. Not completely finished the front axle, but finished doing the lift kit. Lift kit. Not too bad. It's just good truss system. I'm gonna slide the original factory bushing and bolt back in there. We're gonna call it a day. Okay, let's look at it. All right, I was able to get that bolt in there. Drilled those holes out and I was able to actually tap this top hole. So this bolt's nice and tight. And then the nut will actually lock it in. Lock it all together. Boom. I'm gonna put the front axle on now and get it going. Okay, front axle's in. It's got no play whatsoever. This when the bolt locks it down. There's just no left or right play in there at all. And it looks awesome. It's gonna have lots of flex too. I know it's hard because it's all upside down, but uh, we'll flip it over soon. Okay, on to the next thing. All right, frame's back right side up. We're gonna clean up this engine. It's damn dirty. And put it back in the frame here. All right, pulled the top cover off. We're gonna wire wheels, clean the magneto, clean the rest of the engine and everything. It's looking pretty good, just a little grimy. Here we go. All right, as you guys can see, the engine's looking pretty clean. She cleaned up really good. I'm gonna have to pop the carb off and give it the clean once I'm ready to do that, but I'll get to that later. The engine's just got a couple bolts in it for mock-up. As you guys can see, I just got her sitting on the rolly cart. So I'm gonna clean up the uh, transaxle and get to it next. plenty of videos on my Instagram and YouTube of how to weld these diffs but for the series I'll go ahead and show you guys how to do it again anyways once you guys get the case open what you're gonna want to be looking for is your main ring gear and your spider gears inside because we're gonna be welding along on the insides of these guys on the inside I'm gonna pull out this big gear this little shaft that slides out so then I'm able to spin the whole ring gear around and weld all, th all the sides. I'm gonna tack weld it in the casing so that it doesn't warp by any chance. And then I'm gonna pull it out and weld it solid. Okay, let's get to it. All right, once you've removed your axle shafts and your spider gear assembly, you're gonna wanna clean it pretty good so you can get some good welds on it, like so. Okay, I'm gonna put it back in and then give her a weld. All right. There she is welded, both sides of course, good solid beads, don't forget to knock off all your little slag and stuff before you reinstall it, load her up with some grease and we're going to put her back in. Alright, everything's back in, reinstalled, everything's covered in some grease, like so. I just load it up so then everything's covered and I don't really got to worry about it too much. I'm going to put the case back on. And she's done. 
As you can tell by the workbench, it's pretty dirty. My hands are pretty fucking dirty. I've had to wash them like 12 times more because there's so much grease and it just gets everywhere. Anyways, the thing we're gonna look at is the gasket material I use. Uh, I use basically just like a, I think it's kind of like Dynamat. A couple mils thick. As you can see, it's all the way around. It just gets pinched in there. It works really well. And I use that because it actually needs to spray it out because the diff gets likes to lock up and the spindle gets like it gets it spins freely now but without that rubber in there the diff has a really hard time spinning so your input power there belt drive will just start burning hard so now it's been super easy and freely so we're good to go from that right one other thing i'd like to touch on is people you are able to adjust your detent on your shifter so when you shift you're sweeping your shifter linkage there. You're able to adjust that by this Allen key. There's a little ball in there and a detent spring. And the, if you screw it out, easier to shift. You screw it in, it will start getting harder to shift. So I like a hard shift in between. So I screw mine in a little bit there, nice and snug it down. And then uh, you, your shifts will be a lot harder, a lot stiffer, smoother, honestly. So have a look at that most uh, spicer, and peerless axles have that. Dips locked, back in. We're gonna now work on front spindles. So we can get some tires in the front at least so we can start mocking up steering rods. And Princess Auto. All right, we've got some stuff. So let's go over it. First of all, got some more metal. Love the metal. Gun fluid, penetrating fluid is on sale. You gotta buy it. It's on sale. Can't not buy it. One inch conduit couplings. Those are gonna be for some exhaust work. We'll get to that later. Six and a half inch pulley. One inch bore hub, five inch pulley with a five eight diameter hole. Five by four point five trailer or Jeep or whatever else you want to call it. All right, here's another look at it. So these are gonna be how I'm gonna bolt the wheels onto the transaxle. Here's what the little hub looks like. Keyway, a couple set screws. That drops in there and then that will get welded. That's what my hind joints look like. The six and a half inch pulley held on the engine, held on the transaxle. I get all this stuff from my local store, Princess Auto. Okay, here are the spindles. I wouldn't say they're 100% done, but basically done. A couple things might get more welded on, who knows? That's what it looks like. Well done on the back sides, of course. A couple fancy units. Okay, let's put those in the axle, see what they look like. Okay, there it is. Okay, let's start building some steering rods. Up on the lathe. Day three done. Got a lot of work done. The custom craftsman. A lot more work to get done though. Tomorrow we're gonna finalize up some steering so we can actually start steering some tires. Hopefully get the new rims and the tires put on tomorrow. You guys will see what those will look like tomorrow. Alright, peace out. I'll see you guys later.